Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about the present perfect, the form, the subject, of course, I, we, you, they, he, she, it, plus, or you're gonna put has or have, plus past participle. But remember, I, we, you, they, take, have, he, she, it, take, has, and then you put the verb in the past participle. And what I mean by the past participle, the third condition of the verb. What do you mean by condition? Go is the first condition. Went is the second condition. Gone is the third condition. And this is actually a regular verb because it changes its form from one to another to another. But the regular verbs like invite, invited, they don't have three conditions. You put just the verb in ed, so remember that you will use the third condition if the verb was irregular. Go in the simple present, went in the past, and gone in the present perfect. I have gone, not went, not go. I have gone, that's the form of the present perfect. Or I have invited my friends. Remember that time is not specified in the present perfect. Examples. You have seen that movie many times. Many times could be today, from the past to now. What ex when exactly, I don't know. Have you seen that movie many times? That's the question in the present perfect. We use the have and the pronoun you and the verb in the third condition, seen. See, saw, seen. So we use the third condition if the verb was irregular. You have not seen that movie many times. We use the present perfect to say that an action had been an unspecified time before now. The exact time is not important. I have seen that movie many times, 20 times. But when? I think I have met him once before. When? Ask yourself that question to make sure you write your sentences correctly. There have been many earthquakes in California. People have traveled to the moon. People have not traveled to Mars. Have you read the book yet? Nobody has ever climbed that mountain. Has there ever been a war in the United States? Yes, there has been a war in the United States. Because sometimes present perfect make lots of people get confused. Let's separate it into the individual's topics. Topic one, experience. To talk about your experience. You can use the present perfect to describe your experience. Examples. I have been to France. This sentence means that you have had the experience of being in France. Maybe you have been there once or several times before. Now, I have been to France three times. You can add the number of times at the end of the sentence, but you cannot include when exactly it happened. I have never been to France. This is negative. You could say I have not been to France or I have never been to France. Both are correct. This sentence means that you have not had the experience of going to France. The question is, have you ever met him? No, I have not met him. Topic number two, change over time. We often use the present perfect to talk about change that has happened over a period of time. Like, you have grown since the last time I saw you when you were a child. So when you were a kid, like 13 years old, and now you're a grown man. For a long time, I have not seen you. And when I saw you, I told you, hey man, you have really changed. You have grown up. Topic number three, accomplishments. We often use the present perfect to list the accomplishments of individuals and humanity. You cannot mention a specific time. We often use the present perfect to list the accomplishments of individuals and humanity. Man has walked on the moon. Our son has learned how to read. So our son, we can replace it with he, has learned how to read. The question is when? We don't know. But if something happened in the past and has a connection with the present time. But we don't know exactly when it happened and when it finished. We use the present perfect to talk about duration from the past until now. We use the present perfect to show that something started in the past and has continued up until now. Or has an effect to the present time. Or has a result to the present time. For five minutes, for two weeks, since Tuesday, our old duration, which can be used with the present perfect. But when exactly the two weeks? The last two weeks, two weeks ago, 
When exactly? We don't know exactly. And remember that. I have had cold for two weeks. That means he had cold for two weeks. He is fine now. So two weeks ago, he started to have cold. He had cold. And now he doesn't have cold. So the relation between the past and the present we use the present perfect. You had cold in the past, like two weeks ago, and now in the present time you don't have cold. But when your friend told you, hey man, how long have you had cold? I have had cold for two weeks. Yeah, that was a long time. But thank God I'm fine now. She has been in England for six months. Mary has loved the chocolate since she was a little girl. So when she was a baby, a little girl, she loved chocolate and she still loves chocolate now at the present time thank you for listening to that video if you have any question regarding the present perfect please put it below